Good evening, Panther fans, and welcome to the Tigers versus Panthers wrestling match. I'm Danny Garcia. And I'm Melinda Martinez. And we'll be broadcasting to you guys live here at the gym of Pacheco. <laughs> and today is our senior night. And we had some technical difficulties earlier, so sorry if you couldn't see the little ceremony. Senior night, yeah. All right, now we have our Varsity Tigers on the mat, warming up. Well, the JV lost to 30 to 48, but Hopefully Varsity can win this. I like this song. <laughs> From Project X. No one cares, I'm just kidding. You're on my right now. I know. You're yeah. a bad person to every, every viewer. No, I'm not. Don't make me look like the bad, mean commentator. You are. I'm just trying to be nice here and trying to make conversation. <laughs> right, Chrissy? You look so tired. You look so tired. Look at her eyes. Look, she wants to sleep right now. She's gonna slam her head against the space bar right there. 
Okay, not that much, but she looks tired, just not like. Stop taking her, Christy. Oh, okay, mean commentator. <laughs> yes, unmean commentator. Stop, stop messing with my mic. I know. <laughs> I know what you're doing. producer today will be the one and only Christy Hernandez, who is not a Christian. I see you, Christy. Skipping school. And a per uh, who is a person? What is this called? Anyways, Michaela will be switching the cameras around. Fatima is the camera person and Carla is the other camera person. All right, once again, great welcome way to the Great way of for tonight's varsity match. Right now, we will have a face off. Tonight, we will be starting at 184 pounds. Wrestling for Los Pedros, Nathan Vanderpool, and for Pacheco, Ruben Rocha. Uh, 184 pounds. At 197 pounds, wrestling for Los Panos, Jertel Blackwell. And for Pacheco, Brandon Villarreal. At 197 pounds. Great class. At 220 pounds, wrestling for Los Panos, Bailey Rodriguez. And for Pacheco, Nick Vermillion. At 285 pounds, wrestling for Los Banos, Armando Paleo. And for Pacheco, Eduardo Santiago. For 285 pounds. At 108 pounds, wrestling for Los Banos, Gavin Melendez. He will be receiving a forfeit from Pacheco. 
That would cost At 150 points. pounds, wrestling for Los Benos, Jacob Varegas. <laughs> and for Pacheco, Christian Grijalva. <laughs> At 122 pounds, wrestling for Los Benos, Rico Quintana. <laughs> and for Pacheco, Aaron Jaime. Wrestling for Los Benos, Joshua Busamante. And for Pacheco, Maria Quiroz. At 134 pounds, Wrestling for Los Benos, Jimmy Felix. And for Pacheco, Salvador Rostro. At 140 yeah. pounds, wrestling for Los Benos, Gabriel yeah. Mendoza. It's okay. And for Pacheco, Keith Colda. At 147 pounds, wrestling for Los Benos, Andre Centora. And for Pacheco, Nathan Bristow. At 154 pounds, wrestling for Los Panos, Philip Martinez. And for Pacheco, Ruben Hernandez. At 162 pounds, wrestling for Los Panos, Marcus Carrillo. And for Pacheco, Thomas Cardenas. And closing out the night at 172 pounds, wrestling for Los Manos, Marcus Rico. And for Pacheco, Robert Burkhardt. Let's have a great match. What a great lineup that is. Oh my God. Yep, and our captains are about to meet. And our captains today will be Nick Vermillion and Robert Burkhardt. And for LB, Marcus Carrillo, and you know this one, Melinda. Marcus Rico. Marcus Rico. There you go. Just trying to give you some little spotlight right there. And for our first match, weighing in at 184 pounds, the one and only Ruben Rocha. Oh, come on. You can't let me finish <laughs> my introduction. No. I'm trying something new here. You gotta, like, just cut through, right? You just gotta cut my spot. And our like first that. match begins. Yeah. Just trying to get a little, the viewers pumped up here. They shake hands. Goes for a takedown. He grabs a single leg. And Ruben Rocha just won't go on his back. I think that's Vanderpool, right? Sorry guys, we don't have the uh, LB lineup, but we'll try our best. He's got the wrist. Oh, someone lost his shoe there. Ruben Rocha. Rev takes it.
And Ruben Rocha is ready. Gets in the referee position. <coughs> Gets in top man cover. He's trying to escape. Trying to get some points here. Grabs the far ankle. I think he's trying to do a half Nelson on him. Alright, now he's trying to break him down. But Ruben gets an escape point. Less than five seconds. And nothing. Vanderpool is in the referee position. Ruben Rocha is the top guy. And Vanderpool gets an escape point. Ruben Rocha tries to pick him up and he slams him on the ground. Gives him two points, a point. And they're out of bounds. Both wrestlers have, never mind. Ruben Rocha has three points and Vanderpool has four with about a minute and ten seconds left in the second round. Trying to look for a spot open. Ten seconds left in the second round. He shoots, but Ruben sprawls. And he shoots again. And 
that's the end of the second match. I'd like to give a shout out to a new viewer that just informed me as watching this, Emily Sanchez. Hi, Emily. That's Melinda. Obviously. <laughs> she wasn't watching the beginning. Anyways. Back beginning, to wrestling. Beginning of the third round. Ruben has three points and Vanderpool has four. They both seem to struggle to pin each other. Evenly matched. And they go out of bounds. Ruben tries to escape. And goes out of bounds. Which is the second best thing to do when someone's got you like that. In wrestling. Got him. He's trying to get his shoulders to touch the mat, but Ruben won't get it. Won't let it. No. It's very close. He's trying to turn and over. He breaks away. And he's not on his back. On his stomach. Not on his back, but it's his stomach. Whatever. Same thing. No. He grabs the wrist. He gets the other wrist away. And they go out of bounds. been a really long match. Ruben's in the referee position. 25 seconds left in the match. Ruben's down by four points. He's trying to escape. That's it. Vanderpool wins by decision. Ruben Rocha put up a really good fight, though. Yeah. He didn't let himself get pinned. Up next, we have 197, Brandon Villarreal, our senior, one of our seniors. And LB has three points. So that was our first match, folks. And the reversal by Brandon Villarreal. The crowd goes wild. He shoots for a takedown. But Brandon won't give it to him. Kills the head. Flips him. Whoa. Stands back up. Brandon has four points. Other guy has three. As I said before, I apologize. We do not have the LBs lineup. So.
So we're just going to have to go with what we know. And I do not really know. Goes out of bounds. I feel like this is going to be a really good match. Evenly matched again. Probably going to end. They both seem very experienced. Yeah. Both wrestle with intensity, too. Someone's looking for a chance to shoot. And the other guy pushes him down. It's kind of weird calling the other guy. <laughs> Trying to get him in the half Nelson. <laughs> and Ben's headgear covered his eyes. So it's the end of the first round. Both wrestlers have five points each. And the scoreboard goes blank. Probably some technical difficulties. Brandon's in the referee position. The other guy's on top. I think they're trying to get the scoreboard fixed. to escape. That looked like it hurt. <laughs> Other guys trying to get in the half Nelson. Trying to get him in the half Nelson. As you can see as he wraps his arm under his armpits and grabs his neck. You see that there. And uh, he got him on his back. Brandon trying to squeeze out of there. He can't. He's Ooh. He out of it. And he manages to turn. He's on his stomach now. Out of bounds by both wrestlers. The other guy now has eight points, while Brandon still has five. What a great effort by Brandon escaping that pin. The other guy gets him in the half Nelson again. Seems to be a special move. Trying to get his shoulders to touch the mat, but finds it very difficult as Brandon 
puts all his effort to not get pinned. He's definitely not giving up. No, he's not. Oh, oh. He's, he's trying to turn. Did you see another? And... 10 seconds. And it's pinned. Another intense match. Varsities get to get ready to bless or whatever that is. That was a really good match. Very experienced wrestlers. And now, in the left corner, weighing in at 220 pounds, the one and only, the great Nick Vermillion. And his opponent, Bailey Rodriguez. <laughs> you didn't cut me off that time. Proud of you. Tries to kill the head. Nick won't let him. If I know one thing about Nick, it's that he definitely will not give up. He always pushes himself. Which means we'll have another intense match. They seem too equal. They haven't even hit the mat yet. Well, that's what you always see in LB versus Pacheco. A lot of effort. Very aggressive out there. Ten seconds left in the first round. End of the round. Both wrestlers have zero points. This should be very interesting. Bailey tries to escape. Nick won't let him. He tries to break him down. Brings him back down when he stands oh, come up. Come on, Nick. Tries to escape again. Nick's not gonna let him. Nope. Nick says, nope. <laughs> he wants this. down. He 
tries to find something. And he flips him over. The cop giving him some motivation. And Bailey won't. He's going to try to squirm out of here. And he gets back on his stomach. Gets back on his knees. And that's the end of the second round. Both rushes go in neutral. And there's something wrong with the scoreboard. Or the buzzer. So right away, Nick goes for the neck or the head. Bailey clinches his neck with both hands. Gets a single leg. Nick will have it. So after three rounds and 30 seconds into the third round, Nick has two. Bailey has zero points, I mean. Pushes off. And it seems like first round all over again. As they both haven't hit the mat yet. Well, I think Nick's trying to do is not let him get any points because he's already winning. Twenty seconds left. Bailey shoots too high. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and <laughs> take down. Match is over. Nick win, wins by decision. Pacheco now up on the scoreboard. Three to nine. And my apologies about the previous match about not knowing the guy's name. But I've just been informed that LB's wrestler name that uh, wrestled Brandon Villarreal was named Dritzel. So now for the 285 pound match. Wrestling for Pacheco, we have Everardo Santillan. 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 trying to step on his shoes. Trying to trip him. 
when they go like that, you gotta watch their feet. You're gonna see them trying to trip each other. Watch. See? Steps on his shoes, try to trip him. Usually, some wrestlers also put their feet behind the other guy's feet, pushes them, and they fall to the ground. Some fun facts for you guys. Some physics. <laughs> That's physics. Don't look at me like that, Christy. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, end of the first round. Both wrestlers haven't hit the mat yet, so they both have zero points. So with that escape, Everardo gained a point. Everardo always has some good matches. Yeah. Tries to trip him. Oh, they both try to trip each other. Huh? Five seconds left. doesn't let him escape. that escape, Armando gained a point. So now both wrestlers are tied up with a minute and 30 seconds left in the match. Aurora tries to trip him again. He has wrist control. 
tries to duck under. And Armando tries to pull him towards him. seconds left in the match. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's a tie. I'm not sure how things work when there's a tie, but I'm guessing there's another overtime. So yeah, an extra match. Extra round. One of these wrestlers are bound to get tied and give up. And they butt heads. Five seconds left. Wow, that was fast. Another overtime match. Oh, that's why it's fast. 30 seconds left. It's a 30 second round. That was a smart one. So second overtime round. Which means this is the fifth round. A lot of escapes. Gains a point. All he has to do is not let Armando gain a point for seven seconds. So that's why he's trying to hold him. Three, two, one. Eduardo wins. Eduardo wins by decision. Two to one. No way. Oh, wait. Something. They're going back to the regular time limit, which is two minutes. No, they're going no. to 30, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Third overtime match. A lot of oh, we're holding down. Armando trying to escape. is, I mean, three regular two-minute rounds and then three 30-second overtime rounds. It's crazy. But he manages to get six or three points for his team. Los Bonos up by three. The score is six and nine. And 
for 108. We lose by forfeit. So that's six points for LB. And now for our 115 pound match. On our left, Christian Grijalva. Grijalva. I said that right. And for LB. They're, they're so tiny. I think his name is Jacob. I don't know. Again, we don't have the Los Banos roster. But his name is Jacob. As Chris just tells us right now. Referee position. Christian up by two points. They're rolling around. And Jacob gets a reversal. Both wrestlers have two points. Tied up. Referee would do the coin toss. And I can't tell where it lands on. Christian in referee position. He tries to escape, but Jacob won't let him. He's not going to let Jacob get his legs. Escape, but Jacob brings him back down. seconds left. And of 
the second round. That'd be crazy if we went to overtime again. It out. Christian down by two. 44.4 seconds left in the last round. She needs a reversal to at least tie up. He can't win with escape because escape gives him one point. And he needs two to tie up. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. And Jacob wins by decision. That was our 115. Up next, we have our weight class 122. Let me do it. Let me do the traction. Okay. On the left side, weighing in at 122. He wrestles with the quickness, the reflexes of a cat, the one and only Aaron Jaime. <laughs> and on the right side, he had a varsity jacket, so I'm guessing he's pretty good. We have Rico Quintana. <laughs> All right. Shake hands. There. And whistle blows. Let's go, Aaron. Ah, oh, ref move. <laughs> Out of bounds. Oh, that's fast. Really getting mean out there. They both want this. Aaron shoots for a takedown, but Rico sprawls. Rico now has his head, and Aaron is looking to escape out of it. 
maybe grab his leg. But Rico throws him over. He cradles him. Ah, Rico gets the cradle. Ah. And he gets the pin. Ah. He has some pretty good techniques out there, Rico. So, so it's all right, Aaron. I'll be up 24 points, Pacheco 6. Aaron looks really mad out there. Anyway, for our 128-pound match, we have Maria Kuros. Do you want to pronounce the last name for me? Kuros? Kuros. Kuros. And for LB, yeah. let me see his face. Uh, <laughs> I think that's, his name is Josh. Is it? Um... I just saw like the side of his face. Josh Bustamante? I think it's him. Yeah, that we have Maria Kiros and Josh Bustamante just Bustamante to the match. So, or Matt, sorry. Wait, class one twenty eight? Yeah. Sorry for you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Got her pinned. So Josh Bustamante wins by pin. Up next for our 134, we have Salvador. Rostro. And for LB. Uh, and for LB, we have Jimmy Felix. I'll try to escape. seconds left.
end of the first round. Jimmy Felix has five points. And Sal has zero. But Jimmy's in the referee position. Sal's top man. Grabs a single leg. Pulls him up. And takes him down. He's trying to work up the body. But Felix reverses it. And now Sal is very close to getting pinned. But he won't let it have it. His shoulders aren't touching yet. Now they are. Pin. Our next weight class, we have our 140s. For Pacheco, we have Keith Colnut. So that's Keith Colnut. And don't know his name. Sorry about that. Out of bounds. Shoots for a takedown. Gets a single leg. Treetop. Works up the body. Grabs one of his arm. Deep waist. This guy's very technical. And it happens to be Gabe Ouch. Mendoza. He's making Keith bend in ways a person bend in a way you shouldn't be bent. <laughs> yeah. The struggles. Flips him over. I think he's looking for a cradle. But Keith won't let it. the sec first round I mean I thought there was a two right there well you thought wrong you thought wrong you're very mean Linda no I'm not I'm guessing they're both tired since they're both you know put their heads down Gabe Mendoza down in the referee position. Is 
looking for escape. Keith won't let it. Grabs his arm. Oh, out of bounds. Seems to struggle trying to escape while Gabe seems to struggle trying to get him on his back. Out of bounds. Gabe Mendoza must have a lot of technique. Um, Keith has zero and Gabe Mendoza has 12 points. Wow. A lot was done in two minutes. Hopefully Keith can get a pin. Come on, Keith. Gets a single leg. Looking for a treetop. Keith goes out of bounds. And they start back all over again. Keith down in the referee position. Ouch, that looked like it hurt. Probably did. Another two points for Gabe Mendoza. Half Nelson. And Keith is on his back. Pinned. Gabe Mendoza wins by pin. Gets another six points for his team. I really wish there was halftime in wrestling. I'm yeah. hungry. <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not thirsty. Can we get home? Got some homemade cookies. It's a little hot in here. Uh, it's all right. So now for the 147 pound. We, we have, have Nathan Bristow for Pacheco. And Andrew Centora. Andrew shoots for a takedown.
out of bounds. Six points for Tigers. Our next class we have 154s. For Pacheco we have Ruben Hernandez and for LB we have Philip Martinez. How did you know that? Because how'd you know the other ones? Because yeah. control shoots for a takedown ooh double A loses it loses the cradle Gets behind him. He's trying to go for it. Oh, Ruben stands back up. He's going back and forth. Trying to break his leg down, but Philip stretches it out. And he's down. Ruben Espinoza down by two. Hernandez. Oh, sorry. Hernandez. I don't know why I said I don't, Sorry. <laughs> My apologies. Getting a little red there, Melinda. Okay. Because I said the wrong name. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> sorry, Panther. Er, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> my apologies. I'm sorry. Say viewers. Viewers, sorry. Ruben down in the referee position. Stands up. Philip brings him down. First round, Ruben Hernandez down by two. Shoots for a takedown. Grabs both wrists. He's trying to get a little wrist control there. But Philip won't let him. Gets a single leg. Trips him. Uh, 
tries to turn around so he goes, doesn't go out of bounds. There you go. See, it's hard to do both at the same time. Huh? Because if he would have chipped him, it would have been out of bounds. Then they have to start over again. But he's so, like, nope, that's not going to happen. Yeah, so he tried to turn, like, you know, rotate. So if Philip would trip, he would have been still inside the circle. Brings him down. seconds left. <laughs> Ruben gains two points from that round. is down in the referee position. Stands up. And he tries reversal, two points. Ruben Hernandez is now tied up with Philip Martinez, both with four points. And they go out of bounds. three points in the last 30 seconds. Referees and sure if the shoulders are touching the mat. Nope, it's still up. It's still up. I think Philip's oh. hands are in there. And Philip gets the pin. Four one sixty two. Thomas Cardenas. 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 And for LB we have Marcus Carrillo. How'd you know that? Because I saw him. He's, he's right there, he's standing right in the mat. He's wearing LB. Singlet, he doesn't have a name tag on it. And he's wearing, so I'm guessing he's wrestling, and I I know him so. Mr. Is. Sarcastic over here? I'm not Mr. Sarcastic. He's... <laughs> I'm 
Marcus up by two. Tries to get his shoulder to touch the ground. But Thomas won't let it happen. Nope. Uh, and it's pinned. And now for our last match. Our weight class 172. Weighing in at 172. Or you can just do that. One of our seniors, Robert Brookhart. You really gotta cut me off. Yep. So I do like this dramatic entrance. This should be a very good round. Robert, get that wrestling. And our last match begins. Gets two points for the takedown. Works up the body. I don't know who that guy is. Grabs the wrist, pulls the arm out. I think he's trying to get something going on here. Pulls him up. Oh. So that is Marcus Rico. I think uh, Marcus Rico got a point because of a foul, I think. He's really tall. Marcus? Yeah. Oh my god. Shoot him into a pretzel. That looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, End of the first round with Robert Burkhart has two points and Marcus Rico has one.
Robert down the referee position. Sucks him back in. Out of bounds. 21 seconds left. 21.1. 21. 21 seconds left. 21.1. Gotta add the decimals. Be more precise. Twenty-one point one percent or seconds. 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 Seconds left. <laughs> oh my God, Danny! I'm just messing with you. Robert has eight points, while Marcus still has one. What's going on? I don't know. Something with... He's bleeding. He's bleeding? I think so. Might be a possibility that he's bleeding right now, so... <laughs> he's putting a band-aid on. His finger. This is what happened in the last round. It's not the last round. Or the last match. Yeah. <laughs> Always some type of delay. Oh, I saw it. <laughs> Mark is down in the referee position. Robert picks him up, drops him. second round. Robert Burkhardt has eight points while Marcus still has one. I think they're putting a new band-aid on, on this cut. Puts him down. Oh. Oh, he's like, what is this? No. <laughs> that was so close. So close. Cause an uproar. 
And now the crowd is silent again. One little mistake and you're just like that. Yeah. God, that was so close. I was scared for him. I thought he was going to get pinned. He's looking for something. Marcus won't give it to him. They're both really putting up a fight. Goes out of bounds. 26.9 seconds left in the match. Robert has 11 points. While Marcus Rico has three. Marcus Rico started in the referee position. He stretches out so Robert doesn't have anything to grab. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And that is the end of this match and this, what is it called, a game? Uh, I guess Robert won 11 to 3. LB takes the lead 60 to 12. And thanks for joining us. This is Danny Garcia. And Melinda Martinez. And yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>